Catherine here. I'm going to try to be not to be excessive with video clips. You know, I did one earlier just talking about how I finally slept last night after like three and a half months of not a lot of sleep. Um, and it's, you know, it seems like it must have been because yesterday I threatened to like start doing video clips from my bed. So, yeah, I mean, I'm happy that, you know, I was able to sleep finally, but I am kind of walking around with this, with this anger, you know, about the last three and a half months with the sleeping. So I'm going to try not to let that get out of hand, you know. I did buy a single 24 ounce beer. Sometimes I get two. I only got one. I just feel like... I might want it a little bit later just to, you know, take the edge off the anger a little bit. But, um, yeah, yeah, but I'm trying to find things to feel good about. Like, I'm trying to feel good about, like, okay, I got some sleep, and I'm trying to feel good about, um, good about the fact that my enemies have done a lot of things, a lot of things, especially in the last four months to try to make me completely lose my mind, to try to make me, I don't know, like end up in the hospital. I don't know. I don't really know what the point was, you know, maybe just, you know, the usual point to just like torment me. But what I, what I'm feeling really proud about and really good about is I didn't really get that crazy. I mean, I'm always kind of crazy, but I don't feel like I really got crazier. And I think the reason for that is because this isn't the spring of 2010. This is 2022. And I've had 12 years. <laughs> I've had 12 years of being like forged in fire. I've never seen that show forged in fire, but I kind of feel like it's a metaphor for someone like me. Like I've been forged in fire for the last 12 years. So really it takes a lot more to like make me completely go to pieces. So I'm feeling good about that. You know, I really feel that I'm stronger than most people. And, you know, back 12 years ago, like, when things were starting to happen, like, I just had no, no idea what was going on. And I wasn't finding, like, solutions to, like, try to deal with certain things. You know, I know more now, like, I've educated myself more about certain things. So... I don't think anyone can make me like go crazy the way I did in 2010 or 2011 or 2012. Like it's just, it's a different time and I'm a different person. Like whoever that person was in 2010 doesn't exist anymore. Like if I were to go back and meet my younger self, like myself from 2010, like I just don't even... Like, we're not even the same person. We aren't. Like, that person's gone, you know? And, you know, I feel like if I were able to somehow do that, I would just try to educate my younger self about, you know, some concrete things to try to do. You know, and if anyone watching this needs, you know, a little bit of that education, I mean, I've said a lot of this before, but... um. The main thing is you've got to secure your apartment. And I think what happened to me for a long time and what happens probably to a lot of people is that you think you've secured the apartment. You know what I mean? Like you might be like, well, I changed the locks or, well, I added an, an extra lock on the inside of the door or, you know, I don't know, like stuff like that, but it's like, you really need to do more than that. Like you have to have a couple of different things on the inside of the door for when you're home at night. 
And you also need to put some duct tape on the door and the inside of the door at night. You know, so you'll know if someone somehow got through. And you also have to put duct tape around all the edges of the windows, like not just a little bit, like all along the edges of the windows and try to, you know, get some little window locks online if you don't have window locks and have an alarm system, you know, cameras, I kind of go back and forth on, like I do put on a couple cameras when I go out, but a lot of those camera systems function on Wi-Fi. So if your Wi-Fi goes out, you know, things can be interrupted. And I feel like motivated people can like hack into your you know, security camera app or whatever. But, um, yeah, you've got to do, like, lots of things. You can't just be like, I changed the locks. I put one thing on the inside of the door. Like, it's not enough. It's not enough. And the other thing is you need to have, you need to try not to have any electronics in the bedroom especially around your bed, like no digital clocks. Don't sleep with your cell phone charging right next to your bed. Put it in another room. Um, You know, try not to have electronics in your bed, a computer, like none of that shit. And, um, you know, The computer, I don't know, you should try to do something like email everyone in your contacts and be like, this is the only email I have. If you're receiving email from another email that seems like me, it's not me. And you should be like, um, you should be like, I'm not even sure if someone's using this email sometimes, but, you know, just like warn people about that. And, um, and you've got to go to the police about stuff. Like, even if you go and you feel like the police are dismissive, you've got to just go. And, um, you've got to, you've got to not give anyone, like, an extra key to your apartment because even if that person isn't trying to, um, you know, do anything weird with your key, you know, they might be like leaving their keys around. Like someone might, um, get a hold of that key, you know? Uh, and You know, like, I don't even give my parents a key to this apartment because, you know, my parents, like, leave their keys, you know, here and there around the house. And if they go out together, like, one of them could very well just be leaving the keys in the house. And I think people have been in my parents' house. Like, you can't give anyone a key. I mean, the worst case scenario is... Someone needs to get in and they'll have to get a fucking locksmith. Like, that's how it goes. (laughs) You know, no spare key. You just might have to get a locksmith at some point. So there's that. And, you know, I wish I had started doing these video clips sooner. Like, even if not a lot of people watch them, I feel like, um, even if some people watch them, it's kind of like keeping people posted about what's going on. And, um, what else? I mean, those are all the main things. Um, you know, you should warn people sometimes that, There's a chance someone might call them or text them pretending to be, you know, me, but it's not. Um, 
if you can, you should try to keep in touch with people so someone doesn't fill that void, fill that absence when you're not in touch with them anymore. But the problem with me is that I just got to a point where I felt like anyone I tried to stay in touch with, you know, friends, extended family, I just got to a point where I felt like eventually my enemies would get a hold of them and start having them be like mean or passive aggressive to me. So I just got to a point where I don't really like associate with anyone. So ideally you would like stay in touch with people so that someone doesn't step into your place after you're out of the picture and just, you know, fill people's head with garbage. Um, so those are the main things. I'm sure I'll think of other things, but, um, you know, you have to just kind of assume that your computer and your cell phone and all that stuff is like monitored and not private. And you have to make that work for you. Like you have to like say stuff on the phone or through the computer that, you know, will like piss your enemies off. Um, so yeah, those are like the main things, you know? And, um, you know, and as far as going out, it's good not to stick to too regular of a routine, you know, because then more people can be like placed in your path to bother you. Like just yesterday and today, I varied my walking route, you know, and part of me was a little nervous because there is a stretch of it where you're like walking along the river. So it's more isolated. So I was like, hopefully someone won't, you know, do something to me on this path. But what's nice about it is it's like open, like there aren't trees and you can see like the houses nearby. So if you had to like run, you could like run to some houses nearby or run, you know, to the street, you know, over by the houses. And, um, you know, you just have to try not to stick to to regular routine. If you go to the same restaurant all the time, it becomes easier for your enemies to get someone to like drug you or food poison you. Um, trying to think of anything else. That's kind of the main stuff. I mean, I think, you know, yeah, I'm not the same person I was 12 years ago. Like 12 years ago, I just had no idea what was going on and what to do about it. And, you know, I try to do some things, but it wasn't enough to really stop anything. So, um, yeah. I feel bad for people who are just like sitting ducks, you know what I mean? Who just like think that there aren't people who will go to those lengths to like bother you and disrupt your life and like do harm to you. Like, unfortunately, we live in a world where there's a lot of fucking sick people, you know? There's this attention on mass shootings, but there's people who they aren't going to do a mass shooting, but they're going to do a lot of sneaky stuff that's going to totally like fuck up your whole life. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So I wish everyone good luck. Oh, something kind of funny. It struck me funny when I was on that path by the river. You know, I saw a couple of clusters of people like in their backyard or whatever. So there was one cluster of people and there was like a man who had like gone behind like a shed and he was like peeing. I mean, he was faced away from me, but I could like see the urine stream just like, you know, through the air. So, um, it kind of struck me funny. I don't know why, but, uh. Yeah. 
I wish you all good luck. I wish you all good luck. And I just hope my enemies are understanding more that I've been forged in fire. I've been forged in fire the last 12 years. Like you can't break me in the way that you broke me 12 years ago because I'm not that person anymore. I'm not. I mean, certainly you can make me angry and I go through these spells where I'm angry, but it's not the same, you know, and even like with healthcare, you know, I feel like, I feel like, you know, after the few first few meetings, my enemies like fucked up my relationship with my shrink. But even with that, like, I'm not surprised. And I no longer expect people like that to understand me. I really don't like I don't under expect them to understand my situation. Like, I'm using them for what I can get, whatever help I can get, you know, medication adjustment or whatever, but it doesn't like hurt my feelings. <laughs> it doesn't like, oh, my shrink, oh, you know what I mean? Like, I'm looking at him like, you're fucking stupid, idiot. Like, you're stupid. You're believing like fucking garbage that enemies are telling you like you're stupid so yeah you can't hurt me like you once did you can't break me you can't fucking do it i mean i even you know barely have contact with my own mother since christmas like you just get to a point where you're like okay this relationship is broken or that relationship is broken and I've tried to fix it over the years and now that's it. So yeah. Forged in fire, bitches. Forged in fucking fire.